jama'a assalamu alaikum barka mu da warhaka barka mu kuma da sace saduwa a cikin wani sabon shirin na labaran channels wanda ni Abu Bakar Salihu zan ja goranta gwamnatin tarayya ta haramta wasu jami'oyin kasar nan guda 18 ta fiye da harkokin su a Nigeria inda ta bayyana su da masana'antun hada digiri gwamnatin ta kuma gargadi yan Nigeria da suka shiga wadannan jami'oyi matakin da ya shafi jami'oyi biyar daga Amurka sai guda shida daga Burtaniya sai kuma uku daga Ghana da take sanar da matakin dakatarwar a cikin wata sanarwa hukumar kula da jami'oyin Najeriya NUC ta yi bayanin cewa jami'oyin 18 ba su da sahalewar gwamnati domin tafiyar da harkokin su dan haka ta rufe su ta ce hukumar NUC na sanar da jama'a musamman ma iyaye da dalibai cewa wadannan jami'oyi ba su da lasisin gwamnatin tarayya dan haka an rufe su saboda ta ce dokar ilimi ta Najeriya ta shekarar 2004 daga cikin jami'o'in da wannan mataki ya shafa akwai jami'ar Applied Sciences and Management take Jamhuriyar Benin da Jami'a Volta University College take Ghana sai International University take Missouri a Amurka da sauran cibiyoyin ta take Kano da Lagos akwai kuma jami'ar Columbus take Britannia a ranar talata ne ma'aikatar ilimi tace ta dakatar da tantance shaida digiri daga jami'o'in Benin da Togo a wani yunkuri na tsabtace bangaren ilimi har zuwa lokacin da za ta kammala bincike akan ingancin makarantun matakin da ya zo ne bayan wani bincike da jarida Daily Nigerian ta gudanar akan yadda ma'aikacinta ya samu shaida kammala digiri daga wata jami'a a Kotano cikin kasa da wata biyu hukumar yaki da cin hancin da rashawa ta ICPC a Najeriya ta ce ta fara bincike akan zargin samun shaida 30 digiri ba bisa ka'ida ba a jami'ar Kotano da ke Jamhuriyar Benin ICPC ta bayyana haka ne a shafinta na internet inda tace shugaban hukumar Dr. Musa Adamu Aliyu ya kira ya kira wani taro akan batun a ranar talata binciken zai shafi jami'ar Ecole Superior de Gestion da ke da gestion da technologies ta kwatano wacce ake zargin tana bayar da shaidar digiri a kasa da mako shida hukumar ta ce ta yi bincike domin gano hanyoyin da ake bi domin yin badakalar da zumar kawo gyara a tsarin karatu sa'an nan za ta yi hadin guya da hukumomi da cikin gida da na waje domin tabbatar da ingancin shaidar karatu tare da zakulo wadanda ke da hannu a al'amarin rahotan da ya bankado hakan yayi zargin cewa ana samun kwalin karatu ba tare da bin hanyoyi da suka dace ba kamar rashin gabatar da takaddar bukatar yin karatu da register da register da karatu da kuma rashin rubuta jarabawa hakan na zuwa ne bayan gwamnatin tarayya ta sanar da takaddar da karbar shaidar digiri daga Kwatano da kuma Togo sakamakon badakalar to anan kuma bayanai sun ce hukumar yaki da cin hanci da rashawa ta EFCC na ci gaba da binciken shugabar hukumar ba da tallafin dogaro da kai ta Najeriya da me laka bin special investment program a turanci da aka dakatar a ranar talata ne jami'an hukumar suka dira ofishin hajjia halima shehu tare da gudanar da bincike daga bisani kuma ta suka tasa ta isa ofishin EFCC inda suka yi mata tambayoyi har zuwa cikin dare shugabatun bane ya dakatar da ita daga mukamin babban jami'ar hukumar NSIPA wato wata uku kacal bayan nada ta da kuma tabbatar da ita a cikin watan oktoba a baya ta taba aiki da ma'aikatar jin kai da ta tarayya daga shekarar 2017 zuwa 2022 rahotanni sun ce shugabar ta NSIPA da aka dakatar na shirin gudanar da taron bane ma labare ne a ranar talata sa'ilin da jami'ai daga hukumar EFCC suka je ofishin ta a birnin Abuja Darida Punch ta ambato wata majiya na cewa an samu rashin jituwa tsakanin Halima Shehu da Minister Jin Kai ta yanzu Dr. Beta Edu tun a lokacin da ta kama aiki saboda zargin cewa zakau in ta kadai tana yin amfani da kudaden hukumar wadanda aka tanada domin bayar da tallafi ga kungiyoyin jama'a masu rauni an kafa shirin bada kwarewa dogaro da kai ne tun domin tallafa miliyoyin ɗan Najeriya su fita daga cikin talauci da inganta harkokin cudanyar al'umma da kuma samar da sana'o'i ga talakawa da ɗan ƙasa masu rauni kuma ce kuma ke da alhakin kula da shirye-shiryen yaki da talauci irin su ciyar dalibai ɗan makaranta na ƙasa 
an ambato ali mashehu a baya bayan nan yayin wani taron bane malabare a Abuja tana jaddar kudirin ta na tabbatar da gaskiya wajen aiwatar da shirin bada tallafin kudi dala miliyan 800 na bankin duniya to daga shirin yaki da yaki da almundahana sai kuma batun tsaro inda wasu mutane sanye da kacin soja da ake zargin yan kungiyar boko haram ne suka kashe mutane 12 a kauyukan siha da gatamarwa dake karamin hukumar cibokta jahar barno mazauna kauyukan sun bayyana wa jarida daily trust cewa maharan sun rika harbin kan mai uwa da wabi lamarin da ya kai ga mutuwar mutane sa'an nan suka yi awan gaba da mutun guda dindina an san da jahar barno ta ce an samu gawawwakin mutane da suka rasa rayukan su a harin a inda kuma ta fara bincike akan lamarin domin gurfanar da wadanda ake zargi da kai harin bayani dai sun yi nuni da cewa maharan masu yawan gaske sun auka wa kauyukan ne a ranar litinin din da ta gabata anan kuma dindinar yan sanda jihar Nasarawa ta tabbatar da sakin shugaban karamin hukumar a Kwanga wanda aka sace tare da wasu mutane uku kakakin dindinar Rahman Nansal ya bayyana wa kafar yadda labare ta BBC cewa jami'an tsaro sun kubutar da Safiyani Isa Andaha Adan ranar Laraba ne yan fashin dajin suka saki shugaban karamin hukumar da sauran mutanen uku da suka sace wanda yake wasu rahotanni na cewa sai da aka biya kudin fansa sai dai jami'an yan sanda jami'an yan sanda ya musanta hakan ya kuma kara da cewa an kai mutanen hudu babban asibitin gwamnatin tarayya dake birnin Kaffi domin duba lafiyar su adan ranar talata ne wasu da ake zargin yan fashin daji ne suka farwa motocin da ke dauke da shugaban karamin hukumar Safiyanu Isa Andaha kuma suka yi awan gaba da shi matsalar satar mutane domin karba kudin fansa ta zamo tsamagiyar kan hanya pelle yaro fiade babba inda ta shafi masu manyan makamai da masu hannu da shuni da shugabannin al'umma da sarakunan gargajiya har ma da malamin addini da kuma talakawan kasa to anan kuma yan bindiga kimanin su 40 sun bakunci lahira a hannun yan banga a yankin karamin hukumar birnin gwarin jihar Kaduna a ranar asabar din makon shekaran jiya yan banga suka yi nasar aika yan bindigar lahira a wata arangama tsakanin su a dajin katakaki dake yankin jaridar amin ya ta gano cewa yan banga 19 sun mutu a yayin musayar wuta da aka yi kimanin kwanaki 10 wato musar wutar da aka yi kimanin kwanaki 10 da suka gabata akalla sama da yan bindiga 40 ne aka ruwaito cewa sun mutu a arangamar a sailin da yan bindigar suka kai harin a yayin da jama'ar yankin suke aiki a gonakin su da yake tabbatar da akwai lamarin wani shugaban matasan yankin mai suna Sheikh Randagi ya sanar da cewa an gano gawawwakin yan bindiga 19 a cikin daji sauran da suka jikkata kuma sun kwashe raguwar ga wucin domin kada a gane su adan gama ce da aka zubar da jini wanda yan banga 19 suka mutu wasu biyo kuma suka bata mun kuma gano ga wuci 19 da yan bindiga a dajin katakaki mutanen kauyen dogon dawon daji dake kusa da iyakar iyakar jahar Kaduna da Naija sun sanar da mutuwa sun ga ga wucin yan bindiga sama da 40 da sauran maharan suka diba akan babura bayan aragamar a cewar a cewar sa Sai wurin da giya jadda da ciya mazauna yankin ne suka kare kawunan su daga yan ta'adda domin babu jami'an tsaro a kudancin birnin gwari. To yanzu har yanzu dai muna jihar ta Kaduna inda rundunar yan sandan jihar Kaduna ta samu nasar kama wata motar da kwan kaya doke da buhuhuna 600 na takin zamani da ake zargin na sata ne. A kunshin sanarwar da ya fitar kakakin rundunar yan sanda ASP Mansur Hassan ya ce Commissioner Yan Sanda Ali Audi Dabagi ya bayar da umurnin kamo motar ce bayan samun bayanin sirri kamar da lamarin. ASP Hassan ya ce bayan samun bayanin sirri ne aka tura rundunar ta musamman wacce ta kama motar a yankin kawo dake Kaduna. Ya bayyana cewa a kawo yanzu an cafke direbar motar mai suna Abu Bakar Sani wanda mazaunin Nasarawan Fan Madina dake gundumar Rigasa ta karamin hukumar Igabi. Aka zalika yace sun yi nasarar kamo ne da ake zargi mai suna Nasir Rayyanu mazaunin Rigasar nake da hannu a lamarin wanda ya zuwa yanzu bincike yayi zurfi akan sa Commissioner Yan Sandan Ali Audu Dabagi 
ya loke al'umma jarka duniya da ci gaba da ba wa jami'an tsaro hadin kai tare da goyen baya domin samu da ingantaccen tsaro to daga Kaduna sai Kano inda hukumar Hisba ta jar Kano tace ta kama wata babbar mota ma kare da kwalaban barasa sama da 2024 direction gudanarwa hukumar Alhaji Abba Sufi shine bayyana hakan a ranar Laraba sailin da yake duba motar da jami'an su suka kama a cikin dare akan titan zuwa Zaria Malam Abba Sufi ya ce jami'an Hisba suna aiki tukuri wajen yakar masu safaran miyagun kwayoyi da barasa zuwa cikin jar Kano ta iyakokin kasashe makwafta ya kuma ya ba wa jami'an hukumar akan yadda suke hada kai da masu ruwa da tsaki wajen yakar masu safaran jiya a Kano bisa tsarin shari'a a nasa jawaban wani jami'in hukumar mai suna Fuad Dorei ya ce an kama matukin babbar motar da karin wasu mutum biyu hukumar Hisba ta Kano ta saba kama tare da fasa kwalaban jiya a jihar saboda a cewar ta yin hakan ya an safara da shan barasa sun sabawa koyarwa addinin musulunci to daga batun kame sai na siyasa a yayin da ake dakon sakamakon hukuncin kotun kole game da zaben gwamnatin jihar Kano manyan jami'in siyasa jihar sun dukufa wajen gudanar da addu'o'i domin samun nasara gwamnatin Kano engineer Abubakar Yusuf na jami'ar NNPP shine ya dauka ya dauka kala zuwa kotun kole akan hukuncin kotun dauka kala da yace dan takarar jami'ar APC na Sir Yusuf Gauna shine ya samu nasara magoya bayan jami'an suna ci gaba da gudanar da addu'o'i da sauka alqur'ani a mazabu da kananan hukumomi dr faruk kawo shugaban hukumar na da wanda dan jami'ar nnp wato shugaban hukumar nada wanda dan jami'ar nnpp ne ya ce suna da kwarin guyar wannan karan alƙalan za su yi adalci sabanin abin da suke zargin an samu a baya ko kuma an yi musu a baya Alhaji Ibrahim Zakari Sarina shine sakataren jami'ar APC a jihar kuma a jihar Kano kuma ya bayyana cewa a nasu bangaren masu ma suna gudanar da addu'o'i to akan wannan batu kungiyar tsaffin mashawartan tsohon gwamnatin Kano Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje ta bayyana fatan samun nasara a shari'ar zaben gwamnatin Kano da ke gaban kotun koli mai magana da yawun kungiyar Alhaji Sajir Muhammad shine bayyana hakan a yayin wani taron manema labarai da kungiyar ta kira a Kano karkashin jagorancin shugabanta Dr. Abbati Bako Alhaji Sajir Muhammad wanda ya kalubalanci dan takarar gwamnatin jami'a su ta APC Dr. Nasir Yusuf Gawuna da yayi amfani da ilimin siyasar da ya tara daga zaman da yayi karkashin jagorancin tsaffin gwamnatin Kano uku da suka hada da Malam Ibrahim Shekarau da Dr. Rabiu Musa Kwankwasa da kuma Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje wajen ciyar da Kano gaba kungiyar ta kuma taya a ubangidanta Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje murna cika shekaru 73 da haihuwa inda ta jinjina masa ta jinjina wa irin dimbin nasarorin da ya samu a lokacin mulkin sa wajen gina jama'a da samun da ababan more rayuwa a birane da karkara da ba da ilimi kyauta kuma dole kuma Allah su ne amfani da wannan dama dan mu taya munna ga zababben mu na gwamna wato Dr. Nasir Yusuf Gawuna da shi da mataimakin sa Murtala Sulangaro akan nasara da muka yi tun daga kotu ta farko ta tribunal kuma aka je kotun koli ta daga shari'a ta court of appeal ita ma ta dada ba mu nasara kuma wannan ya faru ne saboda irin lauyoyin da muka sa a gaba da kuma taimakon Allah subhanahu wata'ala muka samu wannan nasarori kuma ba wani abu bane yasa ita kotu duk inda take amfani take da shaida da hujja kuma an bada su gamsassu shi yasa ba mu yi mamaki ba muka yi nasara a tribunal aka je appeal ita ma muka yi nasara ko muna fata muna kuma addu'a Allah ka sa ita ma kotun koli da aka fi sanje kotun Allah ya isa ita ma Allah da dami nasara ba dan kowa ba saboda irin shaidodin da muka bayar a kotu ta farko da ta biyo kanan kuma shirin namu zai ja burki albashi bayan dawo mu daga takaitaccen hutu za ku ji mu da karin wasu labaran ku biyo mu to sai dai kansa na za ku ji cewa jahar katsina ta fa ta kafa wasu kotunan sasanta har kokin kasuwanci ku biyo mu sashin labaran tattalin arziki da kasuwanci domin jin wannan din da ma wasu to ma dan labarkan mu da dawowa kuna iya bibiyar mu addressin mu na internetchannelstv.com ko kuma ku lalube ma shafin sa da zamanta na youtube ta hanyar yin amfani da wayoyin ku na hannu kirar android ko ios daga rumbunan wayoyin na adana bayanai 
da zarar kun sauke mun hajar mu ta channel tv ko channel 24 babu shakka za ku ci gaba da samun labarai da dumudumin sa ta fukan hannun ku haka kuma an tsara mun hajar mu ta shirin gani da ido domin ku riga ayyuko mana da hotuna ko video ko kuma labaran da ke faruwa a yankunan da kuke da zarar kun sauke mun hajar sai ku dangule ta da dan yatsa sa'an nan ku shafi kanta dan take kuma za ta bude muku wani jadawale da ganin kuma sai ku buka ajojin da aka zayyano domin ayyuko mana da sakon ne sai mun ji daga gare ku yanzu kuma shirin namu zai dola inda gwamnatin jihar Katsina ta kafa kotunan sauraron kolafe-kolafen kanana da matsakaitan yan kasuwa har ma da wadanda basu yi basu yi wa kasuwancin sa rajista ba domin kwato musu hakkin su hakan dai ya biyo bayan daukar dogon lokaci da kotuna ke yi kafin zartar da hukunci tsakanin yan kasuwa da masu sayan kayayyakin su musamman ma idan rikicin bashi ya shiga tsakani abin da ke yawan gurgun tarkokin kasuwanci da yake jawabi a yayin bikin kaddamar da kotunan a haraba babbar kotun jihar Katsina director general na cibiyar banka sa harkokin kasuwanci da saka jari ta jihar Alhaji Ibrahim Tukurji Kamshi ya ce kafa wadannan kotuna zai inganta sasanci da yin hukunci a cikin sauri Ji Kamshi wanda ya wakilci gwamna duk kwararta a yayin bikin ya ce an tana da ka'idoji na musamman domin yin shari'a a cikin sauri inda ake yanke hukunci cikin makonni hudu kacal kamar yadda ka sani su kananan yan kasuwa da matsakaita da kuma wadanda ma busu kasuwancin su rajista ba yawanci suna samun wahaloli saboda idan dan rikici ya shiga da sauran su dole sai sun je kotu kuma yawancin kotuna suna daukar lokaci kan nan ga wata sa'a sai ka ma shigo da lauya bayan ka shigo da lauya ita da kanta kotun wahalan tana da yawa kware da gaske So za ka ga wannan yana taba kasuwancin su yana sa suna yin asarar jari da yawa to ma'anar shine idan aka yi wadannan kananan kotuna domin yan kasuwa kadai zai kawo inganta shi da kanshi sasanci da kuma yin hukunci da sauri saboda ita wannan kotu an yi mata ka'idoji na musamman domin su inganta yin wannan shari'a cikin sauri yawanci ba zai wuce sati sati hudu ba kuma ko a sati hudun ma ana ba da dama a yi sasanci kannan a zo kotu ta aminta da wannan sasanci kanan kuma ministan yada labaran kasan nan da wayar da kan jama'a Alhaji Muhammad Idris ya yi kira ga yan kasuwa da su kasance akan gaba a shirin gwamnatin tarayya na yin amfani da iskar gas na CNG a Nigeria adamin musamman akan yada labarai na ministan malam Rabi Ibrahim ya fada a cikin wata sanarwa ga manema labarai cewa ministan ya furta haka ne a ranar talata a Abuja a wurin kaddamar da masana'antar iskar gas ta ABG CNG tare da yaye injiniyoyi 40 da suka kware a harkar sarrafa CNG Muhammad Idris ya ce wannan kokari da rukunin kamfanonin ABG Group yayi abu ne wanda ya dace kuma ya zo akan gaba haka kuma ya ce amfani da matsatsiyar iskar gas wani abu ne wanda yazo yazo kenan kuma shine hanyar rage kashe kudi a bangaren harkar sufuri Muhammad Idris ya ya ba wa shugaban kasa Bola Ahmad Tunubi akan yadda ya jagoranci yadda za a koma ana amfani da iskar gas ta CNG a maimakon man Peter a motocin haya da kananan wadda kanana na shiga a she iskar gas ta CNG ita ce za a rika amfani da ita nan gaba domin haka yana da muhimmanci ga yan kasuwa a Najeriya su yi amfani da wannan damar ta shirin gwamnati akan CNG din ta hanyar zuba jari na daukar ma'aikata da sayan kayan aiki da ake bukata domin habaka sashin a fadin Najeriya ministan ya bayyana cewa ya zuwa yanzu har gwamnatin Tinubu ta kasafta naira biliyan 100 a matakin farko ga harkar gas din CNG kuma ma har gashi kungiyar kwada gotu Najeriya NLC ta yi na'am da shirin na CNG wanda hakan ya taimaka wajen sanyin da ta yi akan maganar da ke tsakanin ta da gwamnatin tarayya daga fannin labaran ƙetare kuma shugaban Masar Abdul Fatah El Sisi ya yi alƙawarin mara wa Somalia baya a dare lokacin da take takun saka da kasar Habasha game da yarjejeniyar samun damar shiga teku wacce ta kulla da yankin Somaliland a ranar litin ne Habasha ta kulla yarjejeniyar amfani da daya daga cikin tashoshin jiragen ruwan Somaliland mai kware kware da yanci lamarin da ya janyo suka daga Somaliya 
Somalia wacce ke kallon Somali land a matsayin yankin ta ta yi Allah wa daidai yarjejeniyar inda ta bayyana matakin a matsayin tsokanar fada da kuma ta ke yancin cin gashin kanta Somali land ta balle daga Somali a shekara 1991 sai dai kasashen duniya ba su amince da ita a matsayin kasa ba wani karin waye a wani kiran waya da yayi da shugaban Somalia Hassan Sheikh Muhammad Al-Sisi yayin alƙawarin Masar za ta tsaya a bayan Somalia tare da tallafa mata ta bangaren tsaro kamar yadda kakakin Mr. Sisi Ahmad Fami ya bayyana a ranar talata a ƙarar cewa shugabannin biyu sun kuma tattauna batutuwan da suka shafi yankunan su da kuma cigaban su Shugaba Muhammad ya kuma yi magana ta waya da sarkin Qatar Tamim bin Hamad game da alakar kasashen biyu a cewar fadar shugaban Somalia wanda tare da Ture ta soki yarjejeniyar inda ta nemi da a mutun ta hadan kan Somalia da yancin ta cikin sanarwar tare da Ture ta ce wannan muhimmin abu ne ga zaman lafiyar kasar ta kusurwar Afirka anan kuma ana ta kirayen kirayen akai zuciya nesa bayan kashe wani jigo na kungiyar Hamas a Birnin Beirut da Isra'ila ta yi Shugaba Emmanuel Macron na Faransa yayi gargadi game da duk wani shiri na kai hari a Lebanon a yayin wato a yayin wata wayar tarho da yayi da Benny Gantz mamba a majalisar ministocin yakin Isra'ila gwamnatin Lebanon ta zargi Isra'ila da neman kyasta wutar yaki a gabas ta tsakiya bayan wani harin bam da ta kai birnin Beirut da ya kashe mataimakin shugaban kungiyar Hamas Saleh Al-Aruri Kafaya da labare ta BBC ta ce Prime Minister Lebanon Najib Mikati ya ce Isra'ila na so ne ta janyo Lebanon cikin yakin wanda hakan ihu ne bayan hari da zumar karkatar da hankalin duniya daga kan kayan da ta sha a ranar 7 ga watan Oktoba Sali Al-Aduri ya rasa ran sa da wasu manyan komandojin Hamas a harin da wani jirgi maras matuki ya kai daga fajen wasanni kuma dan wasan tsakiya na Tottenham Pape Matar Sar ya rataba hannu a saboyar jejeniya tsawai ta kwantaragin sa da kungiyar wacce za ta bashi damar sake shafa a kallon shekaru 6 da rabi Sar dan asalin Senegal mai shekaru 21 a cikin wannan kaka ya duka wa Tottenham wasanni 18 tare da taimaka kungiyar kaiwa matsayi ta biyar a tabarin Premier da tazarar maki shida tsakanin ta da jagora Liverpool sabuwar yarjejeniyar ta sar na nuna cewa zai ci gaba da zama a Tottenham har zuwa nan da kakar wasanni ta 2030 Senegal dai ta sanya sunan matashin dan wasan a cikin tawagar da za ta wakilce ta a yayin wasancin kofin Afirka da ke tafiya cikin watan nan sai dai akwai tantamar yuwa zuwa sa Ivory Coast musamman ma bayan raunin da ya samu a wasan da Tottenham ta yi nasara akan Bournemouth da wallaye uku da daya Tottenham ba ta fitar da cikakken bayani akan ko sar zai shafe lokaci mai tsawo yana jinya raunin da wato raunin da ya samu ko kuma aka san haka ba anan kuma Newcastle United na kokarin ganin ta inganta kungiyar a kasuwar Tinkaya dan wasa sai dai akwai rashin tabbas akan cin mai yarjejeniyar dan wasan Manchester City da kasar Ingla Calvin Phillips mai shekaru 28 Fulham da Crystal Palace na nuna zawarcin sa akan matashin ko kuma zawarcin su akan matashin in ji jarida sport Manchester United ta jiro sunayen dan wasan da take fatan cin mai yarjejeniyar da su a wannan janairin ciki har da dan wasan Bayern Munich da Kamaru mai shekaru 34 Eric Maxim Chopo Monteng da na Jamus Thomas Muna shi ma mai shekaru 34 kungiyar ta kuma tun tubi dan wasan RB Leipzig akan Timo Werner mai shekaru 27 tana kuma nazari akan dan wasan Stuttgart dan asalin gini Saho Grassi mai shekaru 27 inji Athletic dan wasan Ingila mai shekaru 27 Ivan Tony na fatan koma a Arsenal a watan Janairu amma kungiyar ba ta da niyyar biyan fam miliyan 100 da Brentford din ta yi masa kudi in ji dalilin nan ta football transfers sai dai zamu zai yi wuya Tony ya koma Arsenal a watan Janairu saboda sabbin dokokin premier akan daukar dan wasa a matsayin aro in ji football London 
Dan wasan Manchester United dan asalin Ingila Jadon Sancho mai shekaru 23 na san kuma Borussia Dortmund inji Fabrizio Romano wanda da shi muka karkare shirin a muddin dukkanin wanda suka taimaka gurin kawo muku labaran ni Abu Bakar Salu ke ce da ku wassalamu alaikum mu ci gaba da kasancewa cikin koshin lafiya Allah ya ba mu alkhairinsa amin